When you want to combine the results of several select queries that are similar, you can use a union query. For example, let's say that I want to combine these two queries that I have. Right now, I have open the employee extended query, and I also have the customer extended query. Both have the contact name, file as, ID, company, last name, first name, email, and so on fields. And you can see that just by clicking through them. So you can see that these two queries are similar. They're both showing contact information and the structure is the same, meaning that the fields in both queries have the same order, there are the same number of fields, and those fields hold the same data type. But one interesting thing to note is that when you do create a union join, text or string data types are going to be compatible with number data types. Now, there is no relationship between these two queries, but let's say that you want to see the results in one table instead of two like we have here, or in other examples, instead of four or five or six tables. That is where union comes into play. And if you remember what I said before about structure and the number of fields and data types, creating a union is not hard to do. And I'm going to demonstrate by going up to the Create tab on the ribbon and then come down to Query Design. And I'll go ahead and close the Show Table window there. Now I could switch to the SQL view or I could click the Union button. And I'll do that and when I click on Union, you can actually see that it takes me to the SQL view. And that's because you cannot create a union in the Design view anyway. All right. So what I want to do is to add in the fields that I want to see from the first table. And that's going to be the company, first name, last name, email address, job title, and phone. So I've got my select statement from the customers table. All right, next comes the keyword of union or union all. Now, if you just type union, that means the results of the preceding select query, in this case, the one from the customers table, is going to be combined with the results from the table that follows. And in this case, that's going to be the employees table. And if there are duplicates between the two tables, those duplicates are going to be removed. Now, if you type union all, like I did here, any duplicates will not be removed. So if you don't care about displaying duplicates, use union all. And I'm using union all here because there really shouldn't be any duplicates between these two specific results. And if there were, then I'd like to see that. All right. So next I want to add in the employees table. So I am going to select again from the employees table, company, first name, last name, email address, job title, and phone. All right, let me go ahead and run this, test it out to see how it looks. And so far it looks good. I've got 38 records, which is a combination of the 29 customers and my nine employees. And I have my employees down here at the bottom of the list, and then the customers up here at the top of the list. Now, something else that I could do is I could add a field letting me know which table these records came from. And this table or this result set here is fairly small. I can look at the company field and tell which table they came from. But if I had a larger result set, some type of indicator would come in handy. So I'm going to add in an extra field at the beginning to let me know which table each of my different records came from. So I'll head on back to my SQL view and I'll start with the customers table. So right after the select keyword there, I'll go ahead and I'll type in customers table as table name. Table name is going to be my caption for that field. Customers table is where this information is coming from. All right, so I'll go down to my second select statement here, the one for employees, and I'll just paste in the same thing here, but I'll change it from customers table to employees table. All right, so now when I run this, 
you can see there is my extra field letting me know that all of the top records there are coming from the customers table and the bottom records are coming from the employees table. All right, so I just had two tables here, but again, you can use more than that. Just make sure that all the queries have the same number of fields, data type, and those fields are in the same order. And you can use union or union all, depending on whether or not you want to display duplicates. Union all is going to show you duplicates. And you need one union statement for every two tables.